All right, so we don't have a ton going on. We do have a little bit, though. We'll show you that when we zoom in in a minute. But this is a very severe cluster of storms. They, it's a special type of cluster that blows up at night, believe it or not, and then it progresses into the morning hours and then starts to fizzle out. So this right here is going to dive to the southeast. We're not watching for this to track our way, but what we're going to have is things just start to bubble and boil this afternoon with the heat and humidity and a little upper level disturbance coming through. But the front that we had here yesterday, which I'll show you in a minute, kind of runs right across like this. And so you see a thunderstorm here that's crossed off of Lake Michigan there. And you see for us, we just have a few scattered little showers there, Genesee County uh, area. But again, it's it's the chance for a shower or a thunderstorm this morning is mainly the I-69 corridor and north of that, just kind of in the vicinity of this front here. But again, this front right here is the front edge or the dividing line between the super steamy stuff down to the south and the uh, steamy but less steamy stuff to the north. So midday, we have a bit of a break, but then this afternoon, pockets of thunderstorms. Not everybody's going to get one. Some of us will, and especially for the southern half of the area, some of us will get a severe storm. Those move out by early evening. Tomorrow morning, we start the day dry, maybe some fog in spots. Tomorrow through lunchtime, we're fine. But during the afternoon, this front approaches. Scattered storms again, but notice the coverage looks to be less tomorrow. So uh, fingers crossed that we don't get some storms, except in the areas that need rain, particularly up in the thumb. And all of that tomorrow night will end in the early evening as this comes through. And my friends, this is the front edge of the relief from the heat and humidity. But today, this is today, we do have a marginal risk for severe storms. Southern half of the area, basically south of 8 miles, south of 96 there. All right, 87 the high. The humidity will make it feel like low 90s. Scattered late afternoon storms continuing just into the early evening, and then we move out. Uh, 87 the high tomorrow. One more real steamy day. And then look at those 70s all the way through Saturday. Saturday itself, sunny. Sunday, sunny. Temps in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, Kim.